This is a presentation of Northeast Streaming Sports. Hey guys, Keith Angle for TGI Sports Talk right here on the Northeast Streaming Sports Network. And hello to you Roku viewers. We'll be sending these vlogs out weekly mostly, um, unless I'm away or something. Um, and they will be shared to the on-demand portion of the uh, Northeast Streaming Sports channel on the Roku uh, app, for lack of a better term. And we're going to talk a little baseball today. We haven't talked much baseball uh, because of the lockout and whatnot, and there hasn't been a lot of news to talk about. But this past week, uh, the Major League, the MLB Network fires Ken Rosenthal, their, their number one insider, who does a great job in my mind and uh, and breaks a lot of stories and has his ear to the ground a lot of things going on in major league baseball and is one of the best ever to do that job in my mind uh but this week they fired him and ostensibly it's because ostensibly <laughs> mostly <laughs> it's because while well, they're denying this it's the it's the negative comments that he's had about rob manfred and a, a lot about uh, how Major League Baseball and the commissioner led up to the 2020 uh, season uh, with the COVID outbreak last year. Um, and also some other negative comments that he's had uh, throughout the, the Rob Manfred's tenure. Now, n- number number one, this is the number one guy in the sport, and that's who you want on the Major League Baseball network. Number two... Does Major League Baseball, and I have the same problem with the NFL, by the way, or the NBA, or the NHL, have having their own network, network-run organization, or, or not network, but a league-owned network, you know, where they can just spew their propaganda and anything that you say against them, though, your job's going to be in jeopardy? What do you want, just a bunch of yes-men around you? I mean, that's my, been my problem with some of the – some of the things have gone on in New York with the Yes Network, the Yankees uh, owned a channel. People that have been negative over the years have been let go. Guys like Tony Kubek, Tim McCarver. Great voices in this sport have been let go over being negative of the team they cover. Well, if it's a team thing and they own the network, great. But the league owns their network, and then they're going to start firing guys who are who have any negativity about the uh, uh, where baseball's heading and where the commissioners where the commissioners driving it? We get huge concerns about my, Rob Manfred's leadership as commissioner. He's got no idea what the priority should be. He's worried about this. I mean, he botched the handling of the, the, the Houston cheating scandal in my mind. Maybe not for a lot of reasons other people did, but I think because it was not that big a deal. You know, he called the World Series trophy the commissioner's trophy. <laughs> a piece of metal. Oh, God. He, now he's a steward of, of, uh, of, of a lockout the first lockout that we've seen in decades and possibly the first work stoppage we've seen in decades. So again, uh, Rob Manfred is up for, for lots of criticism and Ken Rosenthal is the guy who's one of the guys as well, as well as the other commentators on the MLB network, just like on ESPN, just like on any of the other sports networks should be, holding Rob Manfred accountable for the things that are happening. Hold him accountable for the fact that we had seven inning double headers and, and runners on second base to start ball games and, and, and any other number of things. The fact that they've experimented with, with the moving the mound back, that, that we changed the way pitchers and we continue to give hitters all kinds of, uh, Advantages over pitchers. Rob Manfred is, I don't know if baseball will survive the Rob Manfred uh, commissionership. But when Ken Rosenthal calls him out 
and Major League Base, the Major League Baseball Network decides, well, we're going to part ways because this guy's just too critical of the game and the commissioner. Now, he didn't even call him out on all the things that I just talked about. But why wouldn't they not want dissenting voices? I mean, again, it's the emperor new, it's the emperor's new clothes uh, way of doing business, right? If, um, if you don't know that story, then I'm older than I think, and maybe it's not told anymore. But if you just want, if you just want everybody to pat you in the back and tell you what a great job you're doing, then we don't need the network at all. If it's just going to be a propaganda piece for the for the league. I don't need it. I won't watch it. I don't need it. I I want to hear the Ken Rosenthal's Rosenthal's of the world give their opinion about what's right and wrong with Major League Baseball and about the things that Rob Manfred is doing right, if we were to find some that were being done right, and the things that he's doing wrong. That's what reporters do. They report the news. Now, he's also paid to be a bit of a commentator, as many of these guys are. And if they commentate and editorialize in a way that Major League Baseball doesn't like, that's ridiculous. We wouldn't stand. We don't want to stand for that. You wouldn't stand for it if the if the U.S. government was running, which some people think they are. I don't want to make this a political thing. But if the government was actually running, you know, TV stations, we wouldn't want that. But we let it happen in Major League Baseball. And I look at I, I'm not saying the two things are equivalent as far as importance, but we wouldn't stand for it. But we stand for it in our sports. And the same thing happens on the NFL network. You, don't you want to hear guys that are opinionated or you just want to hear guys that agree with you? When I do my shows, I like to bring guys on. That's why we started the Are You Serious? A show on Friday mornings. I want to debate issues. I'm not always right. Ken Rosenthal may not be right in all his, uh, in any of his uh, uh, thoughts about Rob Manfred. I think he is. Many people think he is. But they got a right to express it. And why wouldn't you want an informed voice voicing those concerns and opinions? Zero cents, folks, for this to be the way things go down in Major League Baseball or any sport. Now, you can agree or disagree with me. That's fine. I don't care. I really don't. I enjoy spirited discourse, intelligent discourse. But apparently Major League Baseball doesn't. And if that's the case, then they should divest themselves from the Major League Baseball Network, the MLB Network, and sell it to an independent uh, organization that will run it as such and not a propaganda piece for, the, for Major League Baseball. What's going to happen when they start reporting? If they, if they should ever sit down and start talking about the lockout, again, the first labor dispute in decades in Major League Baseball, Rob Manfred has run us directly into. What's going to happen when they start sitting down there? Are we just going to hear Major League Baseball side and that's the part that matters and that's the part that's important and that's the part that's right? Look at this is billionaires against millionaires. So I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong on any one topic when it comes to the uh, new bargaining agreement. But I don't want to hear one side of it from Major League Base, the Major League Baseball Network, the MLB Network. If you if you can't be objective, then shut the network down or give it to it somebody who will be more objective and allow us to hear all sides of issues. This could apply, I guess, to to to, to any network, news organization, even. But I don't care about that. This is sports. Take it too seriously, man. And for them to, to fire a guy who's, a, again, a veteran at what he does, well-respected in the baseball community for the reporting 
and editorials that he does is inconscionable. You can't do that and and and, and consider yourself a serious sports news organization. You can't. So I don't know. I, again, this is ridiculous. Major League Baseball continues to shoot themselves in the foot right and left when it comes to everything they've done since Rob Manfred has become commissioner. Some of it wasn't of their own doing with COVID and whatnot, but the way it was handled and the way they just ram some of these new things down our throat, hopefully they're going away, most of them. But it doesn't mean they weren't wrong to put in place in the first place because you diametrically diametrically change the game. And now you're going to fire people who disagree with the decisions that you make. Should you be doing that? Is Ron Manfred doing a good job? Is Ken Rosenthal one of the best insiders in all the sports? I'm going to say yes to the latter. No to the former. Rob Manfred is not a good commissioner for baseball and they need to make a move here before he totally destroys this sport that I love and continue to try to love as much as I did when I was a kid. Stop making it harder, Rob Manfred. Keith Angle, TGI Sports Talk, right here on the Northeast Streaming Sports Network and the Roku Channel. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.